Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Clavery, a couple that loves to play board games. And crime. We don't like crime at all. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. Oops. Maybe games that involve crime though. Ooh. <laughs> this week we're looking at Into Deep. Wow, Into Deep. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Because that's the series that we do, where we introduce various board games to you. How exciting. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, follow along for more fun board game coverage. Exactly. This week we're taking a look at, like we said, Into Deep. This game is published by Burnt Island Games. It's designed by Daryl Chow and Joshua Capel. And the art is done by Dominic Mayer. Mm -hmm. And what's it about? Well... It's way into the future. I can't remember what year. 2087. Mm -hmm. And there's a global crime syndicate that's called The Syndicate. Spooky. And they're up to no good as per usual. But our job with this new technology provides us an insight into the psyche of these operatives where we'll be able to try and manipulate and destroy their plans, hopefully, without getting in too deep. Let's get all that intel <laughs> and evidence. And the funny thing about this game, well, depends on how you think about it, is at the end of the game, one of you is going to betray the whole team. But you just don't know who it is yet. Now let's dive into deep on how to play this game. As always, you'll begin by setting up. Into Deep is played in turns. You control over syndicate criminals in hopes of gathering intel and piecing together evidence for the final plot in the various chapters. The game is played over three chapters, and at the end of each, you'll earn rewards or penalties based on how you contribute to the investigation. Your turn will consist of five steps. First, you'll hook a criminal, bringing them under your control. Then you'll gain grip, further control of each hook criminal you have. Then you'll perform two actions of your choice, which include moving, picking up items, using a zone's power, using a criminal skill, or gaining a grip. After that, if conditions are met, you'll complete story crimes, which give you intel, evidence, potential dilemma, and even allow you to file evidence in the chapters and the final plot. You'll then ditch and draw cards containing your venture into the depth of the criminal's minds. Now at the end of each chapter, once the evidence pool is depleted, you'll check for success, either awarding intel or potentially suffering penalties. You'll then refresh for the next chapter. Now once the three chapters are scored, it is now the end of the game. You'll then score grip for the lowest criminal on your board. Then you'll find out who went into deep. The person with the lowest corruption will gain more intel. However, the person with the most will go into deep. Now what does this mean? If the plot was foiled, the person who went into deep will lose intel based on their corruption score. However, if it wasn't, then there's no penalty. You then line up your evidence and begin scoring. Now, based on your evidence you have and the dilemma cards you have, you'll gain more intel. Then you'll tally up the total and the player with the most wins. Now, what does winning mean? Well, it'll depend if the plot is foiled and if the winner went in too deep. So find out. So what do you think? Ah, really fun game. It's got that criminal vibe, that dark vibe, but it's also neat. But you're not a criminal either. You're not a criminal. No. That's what's cool. Mm -hmm. So you take a dive into the minds of the criminals. And it's the research. cool thing is you don't actually control any of the characters like independently of mm -hmm. other people. So you've got to like strategically um, grab the characters that you want, hope that people don't move it around the board. And mm -hmm. I think that's very, very interesting because you can't tell what other people are going to do. It's almost like semi-cooperative because you're working towards your story cards and yeah. you're hoping the conditions and the items align with other players potentially. But then you're also pushing, all of a sudden you move a character that needs to be somewhere else with somebody else and that's where some of that tension mm -hmm, comes in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's like an unintentional um, take that. Because mm -hmm. you're really playing the game for yourself, trying to complete all your stories, um, gain more intel, score more points, and hope that you put in like the right evidence into the main board and yeah. But it's thematic too, which is great because yeah. we're all secretly trying to infiltrate it. But I didn't know that Tyler's secretly trying to infiltrate it, so he can't tell mm -hmm. me to not do this. Yeah. So I think that's the part of it is really cool too. I think for me, uh, initially when opening this box, there were so many components, so many yeah. mechanics. I think I got a little bit overwhelmed. I'm like, how does this all 
work together? Like, is this going to be too much? Is there like even more additional things? All of a sudden, there's a sentinel. There's all these things. Right. But yeah. I think once we play the game, everything just fits so well together. Yeah. Like yeah. everything makes sense for it to be there. Most of actually nearly everything in this game is quite thematic. It makes sense the way that things are moving. Also, the rule book is laid out beautifully. Mm -hmm. I had a great time learning this game and. I'm really excited to share it with a lot of folks. Yeah, I feel like once you get over the hump of how much is in this game, mm -hmm. it's not as complex as it looks. So it's very nice to be able to open the game, set it up, and although mm -hmm. that might take a little bit, once you get into it, it's just like this nice free-flowing game that doesn't seem to have much interruption and not even it doesn't even have um, moments, well I felt it didn't have much mm -hmm. moments where you were um, like analysis really? by paralysis, yeah, so you were waiting for somebody or you were mm -hmm. stuck wondering what you should do. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, it kept every turn really engaged because you want to know, you want to see where every criminal is because you want them to be aligned because by sheer coincidence, maybe Tyler could actually fulfill some of my conditions without even oh, knowing. Yeah. Yep. So I think that keeps it really exciting. Overall, this game just felt so fresh. It mm -hmm. felt like something I haven't played for in a while. And yeah, I got very excited by it. Yeah, I was super interested when you told me that there was multiple different like ways the game end. Mm -hmm. And by that, we just mean that it summarizes different. Yeah, yeah the mm -hmm. conclusion. Um, at first, I thought, oh, wow, this game can end in multiple different ways. But I actually... Um, I wasn't disappointed when it came back no. to just like this summary conclusion. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's cool. Like, very, very thematic. Yeah, and even if you go in too deep, you can still win. Yeah. So okay. that's what's really cool too, because in my head, in, especially in two-player games, when the person who does something gets points and then the person who doesn't do something doesn't get points, typically, if it's like that, the player in a two-player game, the person who would would have went into deep would have would lose and that was my initial I'm like uh -huh. i wonder how they're going to tackle this because that's always like in two player games it doesn't feel great because it's almost an auto lose yeah but this game did it really well because even in a two player game you can lose felt like it and go into deep but you can still win yeah i think the first time we played it i went into deep and I lost by two points. Yeah, so it was really like close. super close game. Um, but I, I honestly thought I had it. And <laughs> there is so many, there's so many, um, like you hope you're just gonna score points in certain ways. And it's just, yeah, it's super, super intense right up until the last minute. And look how cool it is. Yeah. So cool. All right, well, let's get into it. Me? Who, yeah, yeah. Who should check this game out? Me, I should check this <laughs> game. <laughs> no. Um, I think if you're at all interested in the theme of like in the futuristic, you're trying to get a solve crime, be that secret undercover infiltrating agency. If the theme feels to you, this is a game for you. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking, if you played a few games and you have a good handle of board games and you consider yourself a board gamer, this is a really cool game that combines a lot of mechanics yeah. that can maybe elevate your experience in a thematic, really fun way that I think you'll really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And I think like if you're a person that really likes to play those take that games mm -hmm. and you have like a group of friends that doesn't necessarily like that, I think Into Deep is a great little middle ground that you can introduce to your friends to really and point. play. So if you're looking for one that jives those two groups mm -hmm. together, Into Deep is probably one for yeah. you. It's a great game for a semi-cooperative type of game as well mm -hmm. because you're all controlling the same players. There's not a lot of waiting in between turns, so it keeps those, if those players disengage, you know people that disengage once it's not their turn, this is not that type of game. Yeah. They'll pay attention throughout the whole game because conditions need to happen. Um, Goal orientation is super yep. important in this game. You can, like, get rid of your cards, you can ditch them and then pick new ones, but ultimately, like, that time might be really crucial to you, mm -hmm. so you have to be able to, like, pick up those cards, really plan ahead and, like, Go for it. So if that's the type of game you're interested in, Into Deep, probably up there. And last but certainly not least, it's a great puzzle. There's a yeah, lot of various on. elements of like what to keep, what not to keep when it comes to evidence, how if I should take this dossier or what, what should I do mm -hmm. in order to optimize my turn here, which gets that strategic brain going. Mm -hmm. But with all that said, why should you not check it out? Ah, well, I think I kind of lean towards this, but if you're not a take that type of person mm -hmm. and you're not, and you're very, very firm on it, I don't think Into Deep uh, will. Someone could be... accidentally hurt your feelings. Yeah. In this game. Yeah, yeah. Without even intention, because I don't think it's necessarily like a very intentional take that, mm -hmm. but someone, mm -hmm. you could have set everything up, your turn's good to go, and then Tyler here just moved everything opposite of where it needs to be. 
Yeah. Which is inconvenient. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like super tension because I'm not going to be like, oh, hi, Ilya, I'm doing this to you because I know you're trying to go for That's it. True. I have no idea what he's going for, so it's my mistake uh, or not, but um, mm -hmm. it still could cause some pain. <laughs> This also isn't a game that I would introduce to somebody who's not played board games before. I think there's a lot of mechanics, a lot of moving parts. It could be quite overwhelming taking it all in, even though it's quite thematic. So I think this would be kind of the next step beyond yeah, that. Yeah. I'll t I touch on the scoring as well because you do score more points for having, um, how, what is it, You put when you put your um, intel or your evidence, evidence into to the, the final pool, block. The, yeah, mm -hmm. um, you can end up not gaining as much points as you had hoped, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of in that sense because you're like guessing at what other people mm -hmm. are putting in. Hidden information. Yeah, can ask. it does kind of um, have a, a sense of randomness in terms of I don't know if I'm going to score like a lot of points from this, or am I helping somebody else score more points? It it is mm -hmm. a little. Strategic, I'd say, because yeah. you can peek at those yeah, there are from time to, to time as well. So yeah. it is, I think it is, there's a lot of strategy and thought that can go into this game. And it, and with that said, oh, I know I'm shifting into why you should check it out. No more! Okay. <laughs> I was just going to quickly say that you, you can play this game and keep like increasing the level of strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is like... A very deep level of strategy and but if you don't like that mm -hmm, then this game might not. not be for you yeah, so and I think I'll just reiterate what Ilya kind of said is that there's a lot going on in this game mm -hmm. so even once you're done set up it will look a little intimidating and if the if, if you're just like trying to juggle a lot of moving parts and that is not what you like to do in too deep might be um, a little bit outside of your comfort zone <laughs> but maybe you're looking to break that mold overall Love it. Yes. This is yeah. definitely a game that you have to check out. I think for me, it just felt like such a new experience. Mm -hmm. We play games on a daily, a second day basis. We play we games play a, a lot, lot of games, yeah. And I think this one just left such a good impression and I've been wanting to play it again and again because of how interesting it is. And there's so many elements that I just haven't, like the combin, and I can't quite put my finger on what exactly it is, but I think it's like the combination of mechanics and the, the way that the theme is integrated in this game is just, Mwah. Yeah, we could probably talk about this for a while because this game is like, it's very, like there's a lot of meat to it. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't even touch base on the fact that the characters in this game are very varying. Mm -hmm. um, and you pick those characters Skills. to place into mm -hmm. um, your map at the very beginning of the game. So there's that level of depth where you have to be able to even just adapt to the characters that are on your board yeah, and the board. know how the skills work. Yeah. So shifting that priority around, it really, really makes this game a lot interesting. Uh, very interesting to at least me, I, and me. yeah, and, and Ilya. And because nobody's playing one specific character, it does tend to have that like give and take and it's, it's really fun. Yeah, it's really cool how you all control the characters. I think that's mm -hmm. honestly the, the aspect of the game that really makes it stand out because some of the characters may not be in the right spot and you have to hook them from somebody else. And yeah. then you give yeah. them some intel when you do that. Yeah, there's just a lot of neat ways of the trading, the points, the gaining, and how you score, and you just kind of have to combine it and hope for the best, but also strategize. So it's exactly. it's very cool, very cool. Would would recommend. So for our question of the day today, we have: When's a time that you've played a game and you were just way too into deep into that theme, and you were just immersed completely in the game and it almost took you like a second to get out and be like oh there's actually a world outside of this game mm -hmm. so, and i still have to play the game <laughs> do you have any one that comes to mind one that comes to my mind besides this game mm -hmm. uh parks i think is a good one uh mm -hmm. i just get so wrapped up obviously like that's based on real places but i do get wrapped up in the idea that like we live so close to one uh two of the national parks mm -hmm. uh, in canada and it's just like unbelievable to think about that and i kind of get lost in it i think for me it's typically wingspan because i get very into oh did you know this bird uh, like i feel like i'm like the can the true bird view he bird a bird watcher. <laughs> so i think yeah I, I get lost in that game a little bit so <laughs> that's fair well let us know yours down in the comments below mm -hmm. and if you like this video give us that thumbs up hit that subscribe button and even that bell notification because we make videos every week or at least every we try week? to do yeah wow. yeah, yeah. 
And if you're watching this before the end of November, we are actually doing a giveaway for Into Deep mm -hmm. alongside of our two of our space videos. So yes. check that video down below. We'll link it for a little bit of behind the scenes of our processes. Mm -hmm. And who knows, maybe it'll lead you to a couple more giveaways because we just celebrated our one year on YouTube and we're so grateful that you are part of our community. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until, Until next time, time, this is us checking out. Bye. Bye.